Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and yes, it's What's New Time again. This time I present the highlights for our last release of the year, ClickSense November 2018. In this release, there are a number of goodies to cover, so I'll only be touching on some of the highlights, but be sure to check out our Click Help YouTube channel and the Click community for more in-depth videos on these topics. Let's dive right in. The first one I want to cover that I'm truly excited about, and I'm sure you will be too, is our new optional fully supported dashboard extension bundle. When installing ClickSense, you now have an option to include this package with your installation. If you choose to, you will have additional interactive components available in the custom objects section when designing your ClickSense apps. We have included a date range picker, so now you can easily select dates for the desired time frame for your analysis, a navigation button, that you can customize and configure to perform a variety of common actions and selections to interact with your app, a tabbed container so you can combine and condense multiple visualizations into single easy changeable views, a show hide container that allows you to combine multiple visualizations along with conditions that control when it should or should not be visible, and finally a variable input object that will allow you to set values for variables dynamically with the use of buttons, dropdowns, sliders, and input boxes. I am sure many of you have been waiting for components such as these, and we hope you find that they are valuable and a welcomed addition to your applications. Next, we are committed to improving the Inside Advisor since we introduced it in ClickSense June 2018, and this release is no exception. In ClickSense November 2018, we have added pattern and application machine learning capabilities to the Cognitive Engine that learn from the user's interactions with the product. Currently, you can request to hide certain results from being displayed, designate if a suggested field should be used as a measure or dimension, or even choose if a field should not be used at all in subsequent chart recommendations. These new capabilities allow the Insight Advisor to produce smarter insights and more significant results. We have also added light authoring capabilities so a user can change the suggested aggregations, measures, and dimensions to tailor the analytics directly in the Inside Advisor. Another awesome feature we have added is the ability to perform comparative analysis with alternate states. You can now designate specific selections and visualizations to interact with one another independently of the default selection state. Therefore, you can make different value selections on the same dimension and compare those results in two or more visualizations side by side. Alternate states can be created in the master item library and you can simply drag and drop them onto your desired selections and visualizations. We have also added the ability to represent alternate states as a set analysis expression, allowing you to compare both measures in the same visualization. Speaking of set analysis, as some of you may know, set analysis uses an expression syntax that allows you to define measures that restrict their values to a specific set of data. It uses an advanced syntax structure that can be considered complex for new users. In ClickSense November 2018, our expression editor allows you to create or insert set analysis expressions into your measures for already selected dimension values, bookmarks, and alternate states, reducing the complexity when creating these types of expressions. All you need to do is select your values, go into the expression editor, and create your measure with the expression or insert it into an existing expression. Definitely a welcomed improvement when creating more advanced calculations. ClickSense November 2018 also introduces the ability to configure a field only to allow a single value selection. The new ClickSense field settings allow developers to enable the always one selected value for a particular field. The ability to always have one selected value can be used in applications that require better control for conditions and expressions, localization requirements, and other guided analytics use cases that could benefit from a single value being allowed as a selection. On the visualization side of things, we have added a new map chart layer that displays pie or bar charts on top of geographic locations that help illustrate distribution of your chosen measures and dimensions. And we have made improvements to our existing pie chart to allow a second measure on the outer radius, where the height of the outer side wall represents the second measure. It's not only a great way to see the distribution of a hole for a given dimension, 
but it also relays a corresponding result for a related measure. So that's all I have for this release, and that's it for what's new videos until our next release is available in February 2019. As usual, other improvements, stability, and performance have also been addressed, and more information can be viewed in our release notes. If you want to be notified when more videos such as this are posted to our channel, click the bell icon below if viewing from YouTube. We want to hear from you, so tell me in the comments what you think. Don't forget to check out these other great resources to learn more about Click and ClickSense, and please remember to join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.